My biggest tip that I could give you for trying to feed your snake frozen food is, number one, make sure that the snake is healthy and in the proper environment. Because if your snake isn't healthy and in its proper environment, it's not going to want to eat. Remember that snakes are ectothermic, so they need to be warmed and heated so their digestive system even works. Understand also the type of bait that you should be feeding, and most of the time it is mice. And the way that you figure out what size bait that you want to feed is, is the size and age of the snake, the diameter of the snake. Remember that you should never feed a bait larger than the largest width of your snake. Very important. Otherwise, if you feed them a larger bait, many times they'll bring it back up or it can cause an occlusion. The easiest way to feed dead mice is you will order these now. Uh, there are many areas that you can get them and they'll come in different sizes, pinkies and hoppers and things like that and full mice and they come frozen. It is very important that you thaw the mouse out completely before you feed and in doing so, if you are to use a microwave, make sure that you set it on low or defrost or thaw because you don't want to overheat the mouse. In doing so, number one, they can burn. Number two, you'll lose some of the nutritional value. It's very, very easy most of the time if you take that bait out and leave it at room temperature, you'd be surprised how quickly it'll thaw. It should be a healthy frozen bait. If it thaws and it, it really smells foul, then you know that uh, we, were, we were foul before we were frozen. We gotta throw that guy away and, and pick another bait. So it's very important with frozen bait that number one, it is, looks nice and clean, healthy, and you want it to naturally thaw nice and slow at room temperature or in some warm water. I really don't like the microwave unless you really become a pro at it because you want the bait warm. You do not want the bait hot. And then presenting frozen food, what you do is, is you want to present the food to the snake head first. And it's very important that you use tongs because remember that when snakes eat, they eat from more smell and heat than they do vision, other than your garter snakes. Garter snakes, you really need them to be moving. But what you want to do is you want to have tongs so they relate the odor to just the mouse and not the odor of the mouse on your fingers because you, you can get bit if you do that. Hold the uh, mouse head first towards the snake in the tongs and present it directly to where the tongue can actually touch the bait. Most of the time, if he's hungry and, and that happens, they'll take the bait. And once that happens and they start eating regularly, you'll be able to put the frozen bait in the terrarium and the snake will take it readily. It's good to feed the same time. And it's a nice idea that your snake goes to the bathroom before you feed it. So it'll eat and then digest everything and then it'll defecate, it'll go to the bathroom, and then you pretty much know that, hey, it's time to feed the snake again. That helps avoid overfeeding the snake. So there are some tips on feeding your snakes frozen bait.